Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series. This is New Beginning, a skyblock built around Garden of Glass from Botania and Terrain Crystals, which is a mod that I did a spotlight on um, not too long ago. This mod pack is made by Drastic Demise, hence the sign that says cheers, Drastic Demise, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This is a 1.9 mod pack, uh, so it is in, well, not the very latest version of Minecraft, but it is 1.9. There's a guidebook and all sorts of good stuff to kind of get you started along your way, and I think it's going to be a blast. So, what we're doing right now is I'm gathering these pebbles, and these pebbles are used essentially to make cobblestone. Uh, so it's a very interesting method of cobblestone generation if you're not familiar with Botania, or Botania, Garden of Glass. So let's just go ahead and make some of this. Now, we don't have any saplings up here, as you can see, but we do have a way to get some. Uh, if we peek down here, you can see these blocks right here. This is uh, These are basically living root blocks, and you can take four of those and make them into a sapling, but first we gotta get down there. So I think... I think what we're gonna do, I'm safe to do this, right? Yes. Is we're just gonna take, oh, that was a terrible life choice. That was so not what I had intended. Um, okay. And I think we totally just wasted some living root, but whatever. Um, all right, let's just make a little thingy that goes down there. Not the best start in the world, but whatever, it's fine. And there we go. Okay, so we've got ourselves some living root now. And let's just seal this back up. There we go. Okay. Now we can take these four, make ourselves an oak sapling. And just let it sit there, because we don't have a way to actually grow anything yet. Uh, so I think what we should probably start off by doing is kind of expanding the platform a little bit. Um, now I think, actually, now that I think about it, I think you might actually be able to use the living root to make bone meal. Let's just see. Bone meal. Nope, not really. Okay, and that's fine. So if we look in the guidebook, it's a pretty cool guidebook. I expect to see my series right here, actually, at some point. Um, but we can make stone tools, all this kind of stone stuff. But really, the big thing is just to get enough living root that we can get floral fertilizer going. So I think what we should probably do is take our cobble down here and make ourselves... Oh, that was not a good plan. That was, uh, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, it's okay. And make ourselves a little bit of a platform down here. There we go, whew. That was actually nearly a disaster, but we saved it, it's okay, we're fine. So we're just gonna make a little platform down here. I'm gonna get the rest of this living root, cause we're gonna need it to make, uh, all sorts of different things, actually. There's a lot of different things we're going to need it for. Uh, let's also grab the dirt that's up here. Uh, and actually, let's, expl let's expand the platform this way as well. There we go. And one more. Just to make sure that I get all the living root. Because we're going to need it. We're going to need every bit of it. It's going to be very, very important. There we go. Okay. And then I believe our water source is in that block, right? Can I break this one? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, that one I can't break. That one and that one I can break. Uh, this one I should be able to break. And then these guys over here, I should be able to break as well. Oh, not that one. Well, whatever. Whoa. Did this just, like, re-jim? I'm really bad at this. It's okay. We're fine. 
We're fine. It's okay. <laughs> Relax. We're okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, wow, that water flow is going to be problematic, isn't it? Because we need to get up, like, right there. Can we do it? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. Whew. All right. We made it. So now let's expand our platform up here so we can get some of this grass growing. Also, the sky texture, this is actually part of the mod pack. That's part of uh, Garden of Glass, in case you're not familiar. Um, and let's expand this guy like so. And I'm actually going to move the tree to right there in the middle. And then let's make some floral fertilizer and get ourselves some botania flowers like so. There we go. Now, I don't actually have any crafting. I have no wood yet. So until I get some wood, uh, I'm a little limited on what I can do because obviously I need a crafting bench. Um, so I'm going to gather some more cobblestone this way. I'm going to wait for this tree to grow and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and our first tree has grown and it's a big one. It's a very big one. Um, so, looks like we're gonna have enough wood for what we need, and then some, which is great. That's a, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table, and we do actually have tinkers in this pack. So, we'll do this, I'm gonna grab some cobble, and we're just gonna go ahead and make some basic tools. There we go. Just so we've got that stuff. Did I make a hoe? I totally made a hoe. Well, whatever. I'm going to need a hoe eventually anyway, so it's fine. Uh, shovel was what I had intended to make, though. There we go. And let's just put this stuff in here. I did add uh, mouse tweaks to the pack, just for the record. So that's how I'm doing the, the, the shift, swipe, and drag. This right here, that's mouse tweaks. Uh, that's a mod that I've kind of really come... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, I broke the mod pack! There's a little fluff thing um, that you that starts right there that I just broke, that I did not intend to break. That didn't take long. Um, I'm almost thinking that might be worth a restart. May well. I mean, really, it just provides light, and then it provides another Lexica Botania if I lose one. Um, I think, honestly, I think we're probably okay without it. Um, let's just make a torch. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just make a torch. It'll be fine. Um, and then I'll make... There we go. And we'll just put a torch right here. And then over here, we've got our water stream thing. Oh, do I have more cobble on me? I do. Okay. And I just want to kind of clear... That's not what I wanted to do. That's still not what I wanted to do. You go there. There we go. Uh, I do kind of want to put a couple torches down here, too. Just to keep this spawn safe, you know, makes sense, or at least I would hope it does. Um, we'll do that, and I'll put one more torch right here. That should work. And then I'll just jump up, and this will be a water source that should go straight down. So we should be good. That is a great way to fall into the void. Let's put that right there. And... Let's make a bit more charcoal. Okay, so I'm gonna return to chopping down this tree and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got our tree pretty much all chopped down. At this point, the leaves are just despawning. Uh, and it's time for us to get into some new stuff. So let's go ahead and just kind of extend the platform this way, just a little bit like that. There we go. And I think we're going to move 
this stuff back a little bit because we want as much of this grass space open as we can. Um, I think I'm going to extend this out a little bit too. There we go. Like so. Awesome. And we've got plenty of space over here. So we can just plop down our chest guy. And there we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we've got this nice big grassy open space, which is good and one of the things that we'll definitely be needing and wanting. Let's make a couple more torches and eight more pieces of charcoal. There we go. Uh, we'll want to plant a new tree, I think, because obviously we're going to need that to grow. And now we can start getting into some of the things that are a little bit different with Garden of Glass. A lot of you are probably very familiar with Botania, but there are some key differences here. So, first and foremost, to make a petal apothecary, uh, that's going to be pretty much the same as what you're probably used to. We'll do, there we go. And then we just need some slabs. And we go to the petal apothecary right here. And magenta. Do I? Am I using magenta? I think I'm using purple. Yeah, here we go. So we can make our petal apothecary like so, but unlike normal botania where you fill it using a bucket, in Garden of Glass you actually fill it using a water bowl like that. So that's a little bit different than what you may be used to. And then we can use that to make um, a, you know, flowers and all sorts of crazy stuff. But the first flower that I'm really going to need is a pure daisy. And a pure daisy requires four white mystical flowers, which I definitely do not have at the moment. So why don't we make some more floral fertilizer and see if we can get what we need. Uh, and if we can't get these, I'm not really sure... If we can't get at least two white mystical flowers out of this, then we may have to restart, because I don't think there's a way to convert to other types. Uh, there we go. Hopefully we won't... Oh, there's one. I see one. There's one of the white flowers we need. Now we just need one more, and we've got plenty of living root and stuff left to do it. So I think we'll be okay. There we go. Put all that away. And we'll do five more. There we go. All right. So we've got all the mystical flowers we should need now and then some. Cool. Okay. So now that we've got all of our mystical flowers and things, let's go ahead and make ourselves... A pure daisy. Like. So. I also need to get seeds. And I'm not exactly sure. How to get seeds. Can I just use living root? Oh, living root is basically bone meal. Ah, that I didn't know. But I did get seeds there, which is good. Okay. So, let's break all of this as well. Hello, Daisy. Okay, and I'm just going to put that away for the minute. And then we'll take our four white petals. Uh, one, two, three, four. And toss a seed in there as well. And that will give us this stuff, the pure Daisy, which will be used to make all sorts of useful things for Botania. So what I'm going to do, I want to kind of put the, this like over here, I think. Uh, the pure daisy itself needs to sit on top of dirt or grass. Um, but the stuff that I'm going to use it to make does not. So we're just going to kind of extend this platform a little bit. And this is going to be kind of an ugly platform for a little while, but it's kind of necessary, so we're just going to have to kind of roll with it. Um, let's smelt up 
a stack of cobble. Like so. And then we'll smelt up. Uh, or not smelt up, but we will convert a bunch of this into living wood. So that will be helpful for us. And of course we need to let our tree grow as well. So that might take a little bit. Um, but guys, I'm gonna let that do its thing and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So the living wood converted, which is great. That was something we definitely needed. And we're also going to need living stone as well. So that will be very important. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with the living wood first. Still waiting on our tree to grow. Could take a little while. Uh, in fact, it would probably be a smart idea to plant a few more saplings. Uh, maybe just four for the time being. I think that's probably a good plan. Uh, and then this is converting as well. Um, we need to figure out a way. I mean, down there it should be mob safe because I do have it torched up. So maybe we'll be okay. Maybe it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're okay, actually. Now, uh, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, I think we'll be fine. Um, but we're going to need to make a mana spreader, a wand of the forest, and then a day bloom or some sort of other generating flower. I think a day bloom is, is really kind of the obvious one. So let's start with the mana spreader, which is this guy right here. And it's just living wood and a petal of pretty much any kind. So... Uh, what happened to my other petal? Did I? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Got it. And there you can see it converting. There, that gives us more of the living wood that we will need. And then let's take this stone, this smooth stone out of here and put that down so that can start converting to living stone because we're going to need that as well. Now. Um, there's our mana spreader. We're also going to need a wand of the forest. And a wand of the forest is three living wood twigs. So one, two, three. And then two petals of pretty much any kind. I think, what do I have a lot of? Um, what do I have a lot of that I don't need? That's a, that's a good question. Let's use... Just the light gray. It won't be the coolest looking wand in the world, but I don't really care about the aesthetics of it. I just want it to work. So there we go. We've got ourselves a wand of a forest, and we have ourselves the mana spreader. So once this converts, we can get a mana pool and start actually generating some mana, which would be great. Um, now, we're going to need to do some mana generation. So I'm thinking a day bloom is probably our best bet. Hello. Living Rock, I needed you. Thank you for appearing. There we go. So let's go ahead and make a mana pool. And I'm just going to put this guy right here for the time being. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Daybloom requires... Two yellow uh, petals, an orange, and a blue. So, wait, was it blue or light blue? Light blue. Okay. And we're going to make, I think, two of these. I think that's probably our best bet. There we go. Put those away. Grab our seeds. And we'll need a bowl. So we can fill this back up. There we go. So one blue, one orange, two yellow, and then a seed. And then there's kind of a cool thing if you right click it. No, I guess that doesn't work. Okay, well, whatever. Either way, we got our two day blooms. Now, these will start decaying as soon as I place them. And it's night right now, so it doesn't really make sense to, pla to place them just yet. We should probably wait until morning for that. Uh, otherwise, you know, they're basically wasting some of their time. Um, but still a useful thing. And we'll get those 
going. And soon we'll have options for much better generating flowers than what we have there. Uh, specifically, we'll probably want to get into an endo flame, but that's going to require some stuff that we don't have yet. Now, I think we should also get into a mob farm um, sooner rather than later. So let's go... We'll need cobblestone. I'm definitely going to want some more slabs than this. That should be good, I think. What biome am I in right now? I'm in a plains biome. Okay. So let's go this way. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I want to torch this up. We want to keep... We want to keep all of this mob safe. Um, hello, living root. There we go. Let's just get all that. Okay, and I think I should probably put a torch over here. This should all be mob safe now. So we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now that's all the farther you actually need to go to prevent mob spawns. But I'm just gonna go four more. So it'll be twenty blocks. And then I'll put a torch here. Cause we're basically going to seal these off with light. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's nine. And I think that's a pretty good size for a starter mob farm, just like nine blocks wide. Nothing too amazingly large or fancy, but it'll get the job done. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we need to extend this one more. Like so. And same over here. Because this is going to be like a back wall. Um, actually, hmm, I'm kind of thinking we're going to actually bring this over one more. Ooh. And our actual spawning platform will be basically where I'm standing right now, just up one block. Do I have... Yeah, I've got a little bit. I need more cobblestone than this, though, for sure. So let's put a torch and a torch. And let me actually run back. And get some more cobblestone, because we've got a bunch of it sitting here anyway. There we go. All right. Much better. So our actual spawning platform itself will be right here. This is where we're going to encourage mobs to spawn. And then we'll have a wall back here. Uh, we'll want three high, I'm thinking. Because we want and we want to give Enderman a chance to spawn. We're going to need Enderman. There we go. And over here as well. And then we want to make sure this is all capped off with slabs, so nothing can spawn up here. Because we don't want things spawning outside of our control. That's kind of the trick to skyblocks when it comes to not getting killed, is to make sure you're controlling spawns, and mobs and things are only spawning in the places that you want them to spawn. That's kind of the trick to it. So I think we're good there. And then let's just fill in this, and that, and then if we put slabs along here, there you go. Now it is completely dark in there, and we should start getting mob spawns as soon as I go over here. Shouldn't take too long, since that's the only viable spawning area in the entire world right now, uh, but it will take a little while, of course. It's not going to be instant. Uh, either way. So we got that going. We got a little spawning platform. 
Looks like all of our smooth stone is cooked up. Um, we've already made our mana pool. We've got a little mob spawner going. I think we are in pretty good shape and that this has been a very successful first episode. So guys, I think I am going to call this one right here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. Uh, there are links down in the video description below about how you can download the mod pack. It is available on Curse Launcher. I think it might be on FTB Launcher as well, but don't quote me on that. Uh, links in the description, though. Um, as for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Links in the description to that as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.